Designing a map in RPG Paper Maker is something everyone can do, from first-time users to veteran game creators. The pen tool is used for precise drawing, while the paint bucket tool is used for quickly filling in spaces. Designing your map can be done with a layer or with no layer, but drawing with the layer can help keep your first draft intact. This is useful if you want to test how a certain tile will look without messing up your original design. When designing the base of your map, you have two separate tile sets to choose from. Place your cursor over the floor option, then choose either floor or auto tile. Floor uses the sprites from the map tile set, while auto tile uses the general tile set. Floor sprites are typically used for filling maps with variation and unique designs, while auto tile sprites are used for creating connecting paths, such as roads or rivers. If you're using a custom tile set, don't forget to assign the auto tile. To do so, highlight the floor tab, then choose auto tile. Now click on the option to update list. A new auto tile window will open. From here, select your auto tile from the complete list, then click the arrow between the two window lists. Be sure to assign which tiles cannot be walked over or through in the practicable and directions tabs. Then press OK. If your new auto tile has not been loaded, a drop down menu should have appeared with which you can select it. Remember that not using a layer means that tiles that you draw overwrite the old ones. Be sure to use a layer if you don't want to accidentally make holes in your map. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.